All right, last piece of the puzzle to address for rock salt is really what the relative positions of the atoms, the sodium and the chlorine, um, are, and how are they, you know, how are they really packed together. So, <clears throat> rock salt we saw had uh, chlorines in the corner positions. Okay, right, and then it also had, and I'm only drawing the exposed faces here. It gets really messy if I try to draw the hidden ones back of the cube. So there's the exposed ones, and of course then we also have these face-centered positions. And I'm being careful there. I'm saying face-centered positions because it's not technically face-centered cubic. They're, and the reason for that is actually the topic of this video. They're, they're, they're not necessarily touching across that face diagonal as they would be for face center cubic. And the reason for that is because we know that we have these sodium ions that are in these edge positions. Okay. They're nestled in between the chlorine uh, atoms. And they may actually push the uh, chlorines um, apart. So if I if I were to draw that that front face for you just in two dimensions and look at this a little bit more carefully it uh, hopefully will make a little bit more sense. So we've got these uh, we've got these blue ion uh, these blue sodium atoms and they're positioned like this and I'm going to try to draw this as carefully as I can <clears throat> and perhaps we've got these sodiums in there and the sodiums have nestled themselves in and they've, they've sort of pushed the they've, they've, they've pushed the, the chlorines Apart. And this is a sodium as a reminder. And they've pushed the chlorines apart so they're no longer touching across the face diagonals. They, they may be, if it's in this, and I'm speaking generally in terms of sodium and, and not, not sodium and chlorine specifically, but other ceramics that have this same crystal structure, this atom that occupies the same position as sodium may push the chlorines apart so that the chlorines or the atoms that are in the chlorine positions are not touching each other. So the only thing that we know for sure, and this is actually quite a simple uh, conclusion to this, this video, is, is that this distance here, the unit cell edge length, is 2 times the radius of the chlorine plus 2 times the radius of the sodium. And we can, we can generalize this to other elements as well. We'll do that later, but for now, I'm going to call them uh, chlorine and sodium.